How is it guys? Um, welcome to our very first physical science lesson in the side of um, chemistry. So today we're going to be talking and discussing organic chemistry. Okay? Yes. Okay. So we have to first give a definition of what organic chemistry is. At least guys, by this time, you must know what organic chemistry is. And um, in the side of organic chemistry, or in the side of uh, chemistry, I mean, in the side of chemistry, physical sciences, um, it is vital for you to know the definitions because definitions always come out just before um, the, the the content. For instance, if you're writing examinations, um, the definitions you must know must study a definition and know them okay yes okay so for me i can say um organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry that deals with carbon compounds okay yes so organic chemistry this is the branch of chemistry that deals with carbon compounds okay so this is the chemistry that we are going to be talking about. Yes, organic chemistry and so on. So we are going to be discussing more about um, these organic compounds, these compounds that consist of carbon and so on. So also we have to talk about the classification of hydrocarbons. Okay, guys. So in organic chemistry, we have all of these organic um, compounds that we are going to be talking about. Okay, so as well as um, the the reactions that are going under and so on. So to all of these organic compounds, we have compounds that we said to be to be as hydrocarbons. Why we say these compounds are hydrocarbons? So let's talk about these hydrocarbons right now. So alkanes. Alkenes and alkynes, all of these compounds are hydrocarbons. Why? So, mind you, I said always definitions come up in chemistry, okay? Yes, as well as in physics side, okay? Yes, but let's talk about chemistry right now. So, hydrocarbons, what are hydrocarbons? So, hydrocarbons are, are, are compounds that consist only carbon and hydrogen atom okay let me repeat so hydrocarbons these are the compounds that consist of carbons and hydrogen atoms okay so those are the hydrocarbons so we have alkenes alkanes and alkynes okay so again in these hydrocarbons as you know that all of them three of them are hydrocarbons but others are saturated hydrocarbons and others are unsaturated hydrocarbons yes so saturated hydrocarbons what does that mean this basically means that there is only a single bond between the C atoms okay of the compound alkenes and alkynes they are one or more than two or multiple um, bonds between the C atoms of these compounds okay yes alkenes and alkynes so these are unsaturated hydrocarbons alkanes on its own its single bond between the C atoms okay so for alkanes it's going to be like this if ever we have prop let me say 3C going to have 3C prop means 3 but we're going to discuss about that guys don't worry okay we have one this is the very first one one second and third c atom carbon atom i can say so as you can see between these atoms okay let me use blue as you can see between these atoms the bonds are single there is single bond there's one bond this is a bond okay this thing Okay, this is a bond. There's 
only single bond that's why it's saturated hydrocarbons alkanes so let's go to to alkenes why alkenes are unsaturated let's verify so for alkenes um let's say yes we have prop one two three it can be the reason i'm saying prop to just have three c's okay yeah three c atoms uh, it can be propane propene propine yes so um we have one two three so and the alkenes it can be propene okay yes so we have one two three c atom this is propene okay yes i'm not going to show um the the, the h atoms that are pointing with these c atoms okay for for alkenes there is a double bond okay as you can see there is a double bond between the c atoms so between the c atoms there is a double bond let me go and show you down okay so as you can see there is a double bond okay between the c atoms okay yes between one and two c atoms there's a double bond meaning that it's unsaturated because there's one or more bond between the atoms which are two okay that's why it's unsaturated okay so let's go to alkynes alkynes let's have prop again which are one two three c's okay so we have one two three okay three c atom this is propine okay again let me um demonstrate that i'm not going to to show the h bonds that are pointing with these c atoms okay yes so between these atoms c atoms there will be a triple bond okay mind you in alkenes there was a double bond but in alkynes we have a triple bond which means we have three bonds one two three okay as you can see let me show you you can see we have a triple bond between the c atoms that's how it goes okay yes that's how it goes so that's why they are said to be as unsaturated because they have more one or more bonds between the the carbon carbon atoms okay or the carbon carbon bonds okay yes it's double or triple bonds it's double in alkenes and it's triple bond in alkynes and it's a single bond in alkenes and that makes it a saturated hydrocarbon that's how it goes guys okay so let's go down to the root names this is very important guys okay no need to rush don't worry guys no need to rush and mind you if you have any kind of questions or compliments um or proposals you can email me okay yes there's an email in the description okay of the video okay so um number we have numbers okay these are the numbers of the c atoms let me write c okay <laughs> let me write c so you don't get confused so c c this is the number of the c atoms when you compound okay c c okay so if there is one c the name of the compound will start with meth okay so one means meth if there are two c's c atoms like this if there are two c one two okay depending on which molecular series the, the the compound um lies on or lies under okay yes if there are two for example like this if there are two like this this is at is going to be to name this uh, compound it's going to start with with F because there are two compounds three it's prop three c atoms okay this is three 
it's going to be prop it's going to start with prop for it's going to be put the root name this is the prefix guys okay yes the very first um word you're going to call out when naming a compound okay yes this is the prefix put this is four this is going to be put one two three four okay yes so okay 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 so sorry guys for letting you know about this you see alkyl group this alkyl group here alkyl group this side don't mind this side okay yes we're going to discuss it um as we go on in with our lessons okay because i don't want to disturb you and so on because this is going to disturb you and so on okay yes i don't want to be complicated and so on. i'll let you know the other day on the following lessons okay thank you so much okay so five it's pent it's going to be pent we have five c atoms okay it's going to be pent again i'm not going to show the h atoms okay yes it's going to be pent six it's going to be hex it's going to start with hex your compound that is six c atoms going to start with with hex it's going to be maybe hexane hexine hexine hexanol hexanol hex hexanon um hexanol and so on okay yes because it had six items one two three four five six okay yes we have seven if ever you have your 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 compound is seven c atoms or seven carbon atoms when i'm saying c atoms i'm saying carbon atoms guys okay yes so it's going to start with hept okay to name the compounds going to start with hept heptanol heptanol heptanon heptane heptin heptine okay for example eight this is the last one okay we end in naming our organic compounds at eight okay yes at oct on the oct we then proceed with nine which is going to be none okay yes which is going to be nonane okay yes nonine no nine and so on okay we we'll stop at eight okay so one two three four five six forgot to write for seven this is hept and this is oct okay see that we have one we have two we have three we have four we have five we have six we have seven and we have eight c atoms so this is can be maybe a eh, an an octane an octane um octin octanon octanol octanoid okay yes that's how it goes okay so yes um that's how it goes so the other thing that i should let you know um in root naming is that okay so let's go to root names and an example of um of the names of the compounds okay yes so number one we have meth one means meth you know okay yes you must know it must be in your head guys okay it must be in your head that the one c atom compound is meth is going to start with meth for instance methane okay this is methane okay meth gives us methane for example the name of a compound okay yes and i'll only give you an example of um of a methane okay yes so this is going to be methane one c and is bonding with how many um ages four ages okay yes methane four ages maybe you don't know about this but we're going to discuss it. don't worry i'm just making an example okay yes so this is methane okay which general formula says cn which is one 
is two um plus two yes so this is it don't mind me <laughs> of what i'm saying i was just um, reminding the general formula for for alkanes because methanes and alkanes okay um the second one we have ethane okay which falls under alkanes again okay yes we're going to learn about these things don't worry guys i'm just emphasizing you to know if ever you have this couple of numbers of um carbon atoms in a compound how we are going to call it using the root name which is the prefix the very first name okay yes you have a uh, prop 3c atoms three carbon atoms you have put which have four carbon atoms okay yes we have pent which is going to give us pentane this side is going to give us pentane on this side hex going to give us hexane on this side we have hept is going to give us heptane and then this side oct is going to give us octane okay yes that's how it goes so we're going to go down now guys and discuss more and more and more about this this is going to and this is what you are going to to understand and create a better understanding okay let's go down okay let's go down um just one okay so sorry yes okay so as you can see okay in organic compounds we have homologous series okay homologous series this is the series or the group of compounds that shares the same general formula and same functional group okay for instance the very first compound that we have or the very first homologous series yes the very first homologous series that we have here we have alkanes okay oh first of all we have nine homologous series by the way yes alkanes one two three four five six seven eight nine yes so we have all of these so let's talk about um alkanes the compounds that you file under alkanes so as i said to you these are the compounds where you you find um the same general formula in the functional group okay yes so these compounds under alkanes under this homologous series they share the same general formula and same functional group meaning that they are always single bond you know that alkanes they have single bond so a propane and an ethane is going to to have same functional group same like they are going to have a single bond okay yes and have the same general formula okay so let me get um into it so we have cnh 2 n plus 2 as a general formula okay for alkanes the functional group you can see it's a single bond um you can see it's a single bond an example it's propane and this is the structural formula structural formula is a very important thing but don't worry we're going to do more lessons about this okay so we have structural formula of a given example of a propane propane mind you prop prop means three we have how many c atoms here one two three okay this is propane okay how we are using a general formula for instance okay also you must know general formula with your head okay you must know a general formula with your own head okay yes you must stay in your mind you must nail it in your mind the general formula of each and every homologous series 
we have CnH2n plus 2 for alkanes. Okay, so how we determine? So how many C atoms that propane has? Has 3. So this is C. This is the number. N stands for the number. Mm, let me use blue so that you don't get confused. So this N stands for the number of C atoms. And also here, this N stands for the same number, okay, of the C atoms. Okay, so we substitute there in order to be able to write down um, a structural formula or your molecular, your molecular formula or your condensed structural formula. But don't worry, we're going to discuss more about that as time goes. Okay. So we have CnH2n plus 2. So CN, we know prop. This is prop. This is propane, for example. Okay? This is propane. This is prop means 3. We have 3. Substitute there. CN. So we're going to have C3H. So substitute there. H. 2 let's multiply there by 3 plus 2 so I mind the writing guys okay let me just um remove this instead of fresh because uh, the writing is so bad okay so okay so we have C N N N so how many we have three okay we're going to substitute three here and also here substitute three in this n so c3 so now we're going to have c3 h to multiply by three this is six plus two eight so we're going to have eight in this side we're going to have eight h items in this compound which is propane and in this side three carbon atoms okay as you can see let's verify that we have one two three c atoms okay that's correct um in the side of um okay so here we said we have eight okay we have eight yeah this gives us eight eight atoms so one two three four five six seven eight that's how it goes that's how the general formula works okay let's go and make an example um of a different general formula using another using another um, example of an alkane compound. Okay. So let's make an example of um, of a butane. Okay, yes, a butane. So a put, 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 butane. So butane, let me write it here. So put an example of this compound. Butane. Butane. Again, the writing is so okay, yes. Butane. So mind you, this put, put means what? Means four. The C four atoms, the C carbon atoms in this compound, in this compound which is butane. So let's go and substitute there. We have four C atoms. I have to multiply that two with this four. So we have four C atoms. That's done. So to multiply by four, that's eight plus two. We have ten hydrogen atoms in this compound which is a butane, okay? 
yes that's how it goes so um let's make another the last example in each and every homework counselor is going to make these examples the last example um let's say ethane ethane I must stop writing right now Eesh. okay we have ethane ethane we have ethane okay ethane so ethane mind you eth means what at this basically means that we have two c atoms in this compound okay yes let's go and substitute there to verify our our our, our structural formula or molecular formula so we have c2 h2 again so we have two c atoms in this compound and we have six um h atoms hydrogen atoms in this compound okay yes that's how it goes okay Remove this. Okay. So we're going to learn more in other upcoming videos about um, the structural formulas of these um, compounds under each and every homocal series. Okay. So we also have ending. Okay, which is the suffix. Okay so all of the compounds under alkanes they end with ain they end with ain so for instance for example propane butane okay um ethane methane okay all of these compounds under alkanes hexane heptane okay yes so the prefix stands for how many c atoms okay and the suffix stands for um the homologous series that belongs that the compound belongs to okay if ever it's under um alkanes so it's going to end with ain okay yes so this is the homologous series okay yes homologous series Molecular series and then end. Okay, yes, I'm not, I'm not going to write guys because it's hard to write using this. Okay, yes, so prefix stands for C atoms that are going to be on that compound. Homologous series, the end. Okay, yes, the suffix. I think you understand. Okay, um. So let's go down to let's go down to to alkenes. Okay, yes, let's go down to alkenes. Okay, so alkenes. This is the second homologous series I'm going to be discussing today. So the general formula of alkenes. Okay, in order for you to be able to write down, to apply the compounds under this homocal series, you must use the general formula in each and every homocal series. Okay, yes. If you want to write structural formula of a compound, you must use a general formula. Okay, okay, alkenes. An example, let's go straight to an example. Okay, let's start from the general formula explained. So, the general formula it's CnH2n functional group we can see functional group there is a double bond okay that's the functional group each and every compound and alkenes must have a double bond okay between the, the c atoms it must have a double bond so that you can see oh this is an alkene okay yes um as you can see let's go back to the general formula as you can see that cnh2n this basically means that yes with alkanes they can have 
the same um, number of the C atoms that the compound is going to have, meaning that the compound is going to start with the prop, prop maybe, yes, meaning that the same C atoms, which are three atoms, but different H atoms now, okay, meaning that alkanes will have many, many H atoms, hydrogen atoms, okay, then alkenes, as you can see the general formula, okay, yes, so, um, that's a functional group, double bond, um, an example, it's a propene, okay, yes, a structural formula for a propene, as you can see, so we have a name ending, okay, which is suffix, yes, it's in, as you can see when you pronounce it, okay, it's in, okay, the name ending, this stands for the C, number of atoms, and this one, the suffix, the name ending of this um, homologous series. Mind you, I said homologous series. I can't write, guys. So sorry. Okay. I think you get me. You understand? You understand? You understand? Okay. Yes. That's how it goes. So let's make an example of another compound under alkenes. Okay. So under alkenes, um, we are going to have um maybe let's use butene okay yes let's use butene which has four c atoms okay yes you know but put means what put means four i have four c atoms okay yes let's put four here to substitute there so that you can be able to write down this compound or to write its um, molecular formula or write to it or write its structural formula okay so c4 it's, we are going to have c4 h8 because 2 multiplied by 4 it's 8 okay yes that's how it goes so putin is going to have four C atoms, four carbon atoms, and eight hydrogen atoms. Okay, yes, so this is what Putin is going to have. And let's make an example again after the last um, atom, of the last compound, I mean, so sorry, by saying atom. Uh, the last compound, um, Let's use two, okay? Yes. This is at, okay? Yes. We have two C atoms, basically. Okay? Yes. Let's go and substitute to our general formula. So, mind you, all of the compounds under alkenes, they end with in, okay? Yes. So, let's substitute two. This is, um, a thin, a thin, a thin. It's going to C two H four. Okay, yes. So in alkenes, the number of C atoms being doubled by the number of H atoms. Okay, yes. Um, yes. If maybe you you can you can notice that, but that's not important. So, C, N, H, 2, N, okay, yes, so we're going to have C, 2, H, 4. So, your ethene has two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. That's your ethene, okay, yes, that's what your ethene is going to have. So, as you can see, um, let's go back to propene which was our example as you can see the structural formula of propene okay we have three C atoms okay one two three okay how many ages um, six okay one 
two, okay, two, three, four, five, six, okay. I don't know why it's seven now. Hey, let me count again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, let's go and substitute and look what's going on right now. Let's go and substitute and look. So we have three. We have three. Yes, that was a mistake. Okay. If we have extra H, that was a big mistake. Okay, because two multiplied by three, that gives us six, meaning that we're going to have six H's, which is one, two, three, four, five six okay this h was not supposed to be here this one this is a mistake guys i'm sorry this h was not supposed to be here there's no h that is supposed to be bonding this h was not supposed to be here okay yes but i'm going to show you okay guys so let's just um wipe this Okay, so that doesn't disturb us while we're discussing our, our kinds. Okay, yes. Let me just write only that. Okay, so the third omega series that we're going to be discussing is our kinds. So, again, all of these, mind you, all of these. Alkynes, alkenes, oh sorry, alkenes, and alkynes. Okay, alkanes, alkenes, alkynes. All of these are hydrocarbons. Okay, they are hydro, hydrocarbons. HC because they have only these. Their compounds or compounds under these homocarbons have H atoms. And carbon atoms only between the atoms okay yes so these are the hydrocarbons we have saturated and unsaturated being these one two alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated because they have more than two or more than one bond between the, the C atoms as you can see okay and this one alkane okay, it is only one that is that is saturated this one this is only one this is saturated okay i'm just going to put s guys yes okay let me wipe that I'm i was just reminding you so that you didn't forget um okay so let's discuss we've discussed alkanes this goes alkenes, so let's get to alkynes. So alkynes, um, okay, you can see the general formula. The very first thing that we have is the general formula, okay? We have the general formula and the functional group. Our general formula it's cn h2n minus 2 and this is going to to decrease the number of h's because it's minus 2 now okay yes so meaning that this is going to have few 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 h atoms so compounds under this homework is going to have few h atoms than alkenes and alkanes okay yes so Let's go to the functional group. The functional group, each, each and every compound on this homologous series is going to have a triple bond between the C atoms. Between two C atoms, there will be a triple bond. Okay, that shows us the functional group of alkynes. An example of the compound is propyne. Okay. It's propyne okay we have three c atoms okay yes we have propyne 
is three C items. Okay, yes. As you can see, the structural formula we have one, two, three C items. Okay, yes. The name ending is ein or wine. Okay, yes, propine. Propine. Okay, yes, propine, butine, hexine, heptine, octine. Okay, yes, that's the ending, which is the suffix of this homologous series. Okay, yes. So let's make our three examples. Okay, let's make our three examples. Okay, so I didn't get disturbed. Get our three examples. Okay, let's do um, put which is four. So we're going to have butine, butine. Okay, butine. So butine. I'm going to have four C atoms. Let's substitute four into that N. Okay, so we have C four. Okay, two multiply by four. That is 8 minus 2. So 2 multiplied by 4, that's um, 8, yes. 8 minus 2, that is 6. Okay, yes. That is 6. And that gives us, okay, this side, we have 4 C atoms. And this side, we have 6 H atoms. So, a butine is going to have four carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms okay as a compound okay let's go to the second one and make an example um let's wrap that let's go to the second one and make an example let's have um ethane okay ethane going to be two okay ethane two c atoms two carbon atoms so we get two there to that n so we're going to have c2 atoms c okay h2n which is eight two multiplied by two that is going to four four minus two it's two so it's going to be c2 h two this is our ethane 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 okay yes so this is our our ethane that's how it goes um yes okay yes so yes don't know if i have to make more um examples and this omega series but i think we understood everything guys yes okay let's go to the structural formula of it as you can see the triple bond between the two c atoms the two carbon when i'm saying c atoms it's carbon atoms okay yes don't get confused and say hey what because i understand we have um some terms that we have to use um in chemistry yes Mm -hmm. okay um yes so this is a structural formula for for our propine okay this is our structural formula um this basically means that um, let me go and rub there and substitute for our propine and prove it Okay, let's prove it for our propine. So propine prop means three, three. How many hydrogen atoms? Okay, let's have three first. So we have three C atoms. Let's go and verify that. We have one. Let's mark. We have one, two, three atoms. Okay. Yes. So we have H two. 2 multiplied by 3, that's 6. 6 minus 2, that is 4. 
so we have we're going to have four H atoms okay let's go and mark one two three four okay yes so that's how we write our structural formula using general formula also molecular formula and connect structural formula as well okay um yes so don't forget that alkynes ends with with this suffix ion okay the suffix being the number of the c atoms you know it's going to be meth or ads or, or or you understand yes so it must end it, mu it must end with with i because of its homologous series that is and okay Okay, right now let's move to alcohols. Okay, let's move to alcohols. Okay, yes, this is alcohol. The alcohol that they drink. You know, yes, I don't want to say you drink. Okay, yes, this is the alcohol that is being produced in our industries that is being sold. Um, the tops and other alcohols uh, which are spirits and so on so yes the different alcohols yes so um, let's go straight to the general form so the general form for alcohol it's CN H 2N plus 1 OH so you must know that alcohols have OH bond okay always you must know that okay yes so and this is its functional group as you can see let's go to its functional group the C atom is also going to bond with OH bond okay yes oxygen and hydrogen bond okay yes so alcohols have OH bond an example of it is that um, propan one all meaning that the OH bond is in the very first um, is bonding in the very first carbon atom okay on the outlying carbon atom okay yes so that's what this means one all this basically means the C atom or the O yes the O edge um, bond is or the O edge is bonding with the very first C atom which is outside or one propanol or propanol okay yes and you can also say this is propanol this one this one this is proper propanol propan one or C outlying the very first C atom that is outside. That's why it's it's one. If it were this OH bond, this OH bond was here in this second C atom, we are going to have two here, and we're going to have two again here. Okay, two propanol because of this one. Okay, and an end. Okay, yes, and this is since um we have one here okay let me go and raise that you don't get confused okay so since we have one here okay since we have one here this basically means that this is a, a primary alcohol okay this is a primary alcohol if it was two this was going to be secondary alcohol if it was three it was pointing on the on the oh point was on the third um c atom that was going to be tertiary alcohol okay yes but you are going to learn more about this thing don't worry but let's touch brief about them so that you that you get familiar with this um <coughs> yes so that you get familiar with this um Compounds under different homologous series. Okay, so all 
this is the suffix okay yes mind you the this prefix or the root name is still the same start with prop you know prop means three the three c atoms okay prop as you can see let's go and confirm one two three okay proper no okay no okay proper no this is the suffix of it okay yes okay yes so that's it um okay let me erase and make further examples but i think i did but let me make um further examples Fair examples okay so let's say let's say um we have let's use four again yes let's use two and four two and four in each and every of these when making examples okay so four means put just because i can i can't be able to write um clear name or clear compound name okay i'm just using four you know four means put okay yes four means put so we're going to have butanol okay yes or one butanol since maybe the c atom of in this butanol in this compound of butanol is bonding with the very first c atom the oh bond is bonding with the very first c atom okay butanol so we're going to have butanol okay let's go and see the um the structural formula for butanol or the molecular formula so we have four so butanol is going to have c4 atoms you know that h2 4 so to multiply by 4 that's 8 plus 1 that's 9 okay yes that's 9 okay the special one is that you have butanol have Four carbon atoms as a compound and butanol has how many H atoms? Um, we said nine, yes, nine H atoms and plus this one that is outside, okay. But this one, since it's bonding with this oxygen bond, since it's bonding with this oxygen, the OH bond, okay, yes, the oxygen and hydrogen all together. Okay, meaning that we are going to have how many? In, in all, we are going to have 10 hydrogen atoms. Okay, in a butanol. Um, yes, that's how it goes. Let's go and use ethanol. Put two. Use ethanol. Let's use ethanol. Two, okay. So two, ethanol. I'm so sorry. We have ethanol. Okay. So we have ethanol. We have. Um. Okay. Let's go and substitute. Two. Two. So ethanol have two C atoms. Each and every compound um, in different normal castles even they start with the same thing with meth with put with prop meaning that they have this that verifies you um, that the compound has has how many C atoms okay yes so two C atoms and C2 five hydrogen atoms okay so this compound which is 
ethanol is going to have two carbon atoms and five hydrogen atoms and if we add this one that is on OH bond this hydrogen that is on OH bond and six hydrogen atoms okay yes that's how it goes so let's go to our structural formula let's go to our structural formula and see if yes it's right it's correct okay so our structure for propanol here yeah. okay propanol how many c atoms we have c because of prop okay we have um three again so c3 let's go and see if for three one two three yes let's go and see if we have um seven because two multiplied by three that's six plus one seven if we add this one mean that we have eight okay yes let's go and see that we have eight eight atoms okay one two three four five six seven eight eight atoms that's how it goes guys man you know yeah so um we confirmed hmm okay let's go straight um to allow our canes okay let's go straight to allow our canes which are also known as alkyl halides okay yes because they have halogens okay the hollow arcanes and if you can see that hollow arcanes hollow okay if we take out this hollow here let's start talking about this homological series if we take out this hollow this basically means that okay let's not call this hollow we left with alkanes oh these are the alkanes that are hollow oh these are the alkanes that interact with halogens okay that's hollow means halogens okay yes halogen these are the elements that you find in your in your periodic table okay such as fluorine chlorine bromine and ion okay yes so meaning that it's going to be likely to be same as sharing the same um some parts of um functions of the same function as alkanes so for instance okay for instance the ending the suffix it's a which is same as as this of of alkanes okay yes that's how it goes let me wipe it so that um you don't get confused i don't want to, to get confused okay so general formula let's go to general formula the general formula it's cn h2n plus one cn h2n plus one this x stands for the halogen this is the halogen that is interacting with this with this compound okay yes it's bonding in this compound this halogen it can be a fluorine for instance okay a fluorine can be the chlorine can be a bromine it can be um, an ion and others okay yes can be a platinum it can be an and and okay all of these um, elements that you'd find in your periodic table okay so let's go to functional group of this the functional group is that it has a single bond yes it has a single bond um still okay just like alcohol just like um alkanes okay that's the other thing that is similar with with alkanes okay similarity of hollow alkanes and alkanes okay it also have this x which means it's halogen it's bonding with the c atom is bonding with with halogen 
x okay yes an example of a compound it can be a chloropropane one chloropropane this basically means that this one the bonding of of the halogen to this compound is bonding with the very first c atom of the compound okay that's why it's one chloropropane just like as one propanol then alcohols the same example if you still remember okay yes that's how it goes um one chloro propane an example okay yes so the structural formula as you can see chloropropane meaning that you're going to have three c atoms okay yes in order for you to detect this this um structural formula you have to go and use the this um general formula here okay yes so let me wipe and have some few examples okay okay so here let's use for put okay let's use put so let's use um we're going to say um promo putting okay it, it can be chloroputane it can be pro bromo uh putane it can be fluoro fluoro when bonding with um the halogen that is fluorine it can be fluoro putane um and 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 okay yes that's all mean so it can be fluoroputane can be chloroputane can be bromo protein when interacting with, with bromine um yes so but we're going to be more applicant like we're going to be more um hands-on and like um, making practicals in the upcoming lessons okay i just want you to know um some basic stuff for right now okay yes um this one is hiding us from the general formula okay so let's use put okay we have four four c's and four so you know put uh, let's say it's a chlorobutane okay yes let's say it's a chlorobutane not to make things um complicated chlorobutane so a chlorobutane um is going to have four c atoms um nine h atoms okay nine h because two multiplied by four that's eight plus one that's nine nine h atoms and a halogen that is chlorine okay that is cl because we said it's chlorobutane okay yes that's how it goes so let's go to and make an example um using let's go and make an example using um add okay which is two okay add um chloroethane okay chloroethane so chloroethane we're going to have two c atoms to substitute two there so we're going to have two c atoms and have um i'm so sorry with the noise guys if you can hear noise um my resumes i'm making a lot of noise so sorry right yes okay so um so we have we're going to have a substitute there how many hydrogen atoms that we're going to have on chloro chloro um ethane chloro ethane yes because we have two now yes example so two multiplied by two that's four we're going to have five um two multiplied by two plus one going to have five hydrogen atoms 
in this compound that is going to be a chloroethane. That's how it goes. Okay, so let's check our one chloropropane. If uh, let's confirm, okay. Uh, let me go up a little bit. Uh, yes, I think it's okay. Okay, yes, let's confirm. Um, if our one chloropropane is in the right, or it's written in the right in the correct um, way structural formula okay let's go how many C atoms in the prop compound three substitute three here again so chloropropane one chloropropane so it has let's go and check if there are three C atoms let's go so one two um yes three 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 don't don't be um don't be confused by this this is cl okay this is chlorine this is cl this one well, let me use a different um color let me use a different color this is chlorine all right this is chlorine okay yes that, let me write it here. This is chlorine. That is chlorine. Okay. Yes. So it's Cl chlorine. As you can see. So we have three C's there. Let me go back. So we have three C's. That's correct. How many H's? So two multiplied by three. Six plus one. Seven H's. Seven H's. Let's go and correct. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven ages. Okay, yes. You see how general formula is how general formula is important for you to write structural formula or to write down the name or just write down the compound. Okay, whether in structural formula in condensed structural formula or in just a molecular formula okay so we left with the halogen now which halogen was there okay we always when naming haloalkanes we start with the halogen as you can see that haloalkanes and you come with with an alkane okay as you see that we started with chloro which is an halogen and came with the with a propane as you can see that propane is an is an alkane okay yes so let's go and check the, the halogen that was there that was chloro and let's go and check if chlorine is there yes chlorine is there okay that's how it goes and that one chlorine is bonding with the very first um carbon atom that is outside okay yes this one this is one this bond okay yes so i think you understand it and so on don't get stressed don't get stressed guys just be cool it's gonna be okay um yes okay now let's discuss aldehydes okay yes let's discuss the homologous series of aldehydes okay so the general formula of aldehydes it's cn h2n o okay there's oxygen instead of a uh, halogen instead of oh bond instead of 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 there is oxygen now only okay yes aldehyde okay so um i don't know when to explain this to you okay no let me not explain now okay because what i was thinking about is that the general formula of aldehydes is the same as general formula of ketones okay 
yes but we are going to get on that later okay when we are discussing ketones i don't want to frustrate you guys okay so we have cn h2no okay the general formula of aldehydes so the functional group is the o bond okay yes the oxygen bond okay and the last carbon this is what i was um trying to explain before okay the oxygen is bonding with the last c atom with the last carbon atom in the compound okay always in aldehydes okay yes so the last c atom is bonding with this carbon okay yes so that's how it goes let me re-explain i think there's something i've missed there let me re-explain let me use blue for this o this o is as you can see that is bonding with the last c atom okay is bonding with the the last c atom so this is the functional group of it this is how you can see that oh this compound these are aldehydes because of that o bond that is bonding with the last c atom and h outside okay yes and there's no other h that is bonding here okay there's no other h that is bonding here because the other bond is also taken this bond is taken to to bond with that O atom okay that oxygen atom i think you get me but don't worry again don't worry we're going to explain this okay so um examples okay so example we have propanol okay so to name okay so a proper now which is our example i'm going to get back to that um quick quick structural formula as you can see proper now prop means three we have three c atoms um using the general formula to verify that that's it so the ending the name ending it's l as you can see proper now okay okay it's l ending in aldehyde all right yes so um the other important thing that you should know is that um okay going back to example which is propanol um propanol what i was going to say what i was going to say about that um just forgot right now um okay no problem okay let me make a few examples okay let's use um butanol okay butanol four okay four c atoms but means four okay uh, let me rub that let me rub that there okay let's use put four for again so butanol so butanol as a compound have four carbon atoms and butanol i'm sorry butanol l also okay so two multiplied by four that's eight so butanol has eight hydrogen atoms and four carbon atoms that's butanol okay that's it so let's go and check for let me rub that check for ethanol ethanol the reason i am just writing two guys mind you i can't write down okay my writing is so bad i can't write okay we can even write ethanol here there's no space okay yes can write because i'm using um ethanol k 
Okay, this we don't know. Okay, maybe nothing. My writing. Okay, either now, that's it. Let's go and check. Two, two. So, mind you guys, I'm reminding you this again. General formula is very, very important. Okay, to write down um, the name of the compound belonging to phenomenal series so you must know each and every terminal formula from different normal series okay yes yeah, so know these by the head and study this table and write it down to your own okay yes you can copy it and so on you can even mail me to send you this table so it creates a better understanding for you okay so c2 h2n o okay how many c atoms two for ethanol how many h atoms we have four okay two multiplied by two that's four yes that's how it goes and the o bond is going to bond with the last c outside one two there will be going to be h here okay yes so there is no bond here okay there is no bond underneath this c okay you don't put bond here because the bond that was supposed to be here underneath is being taken by this o bond okay yes we don't do that that's how it goes um let me wrap let me erase that okay um and verify and check let's check now okay yes let's check now um um Okay, let's check proper now. Okay, yes, the structure formula. Let's go. Proper now. Prop means three. Substitute that three. Substitute that three. Okay. So we're going to have three C atoms. Let's go and check and mark one, two, three. Okay, yes. Let's go and check eight atoms. 6 H atoms 2 multiplied by 3. Yes, there must be 6 1 2 3 4 5 6. And let's go and check if our O is there on the last C atom bonding on the last C atom. Oh, yes, our O is bonding on the last C atom. Okay, yes, and there's no H underneath here. Okay, that's how it goes um yes yes that's how it goes okay now let's discuss um ketones let's go and get to this homologous series ketones ketones um general formula same as aldehydes cn h to n o okay then this o again functional group functional group of ketones o is not bonding on the last c atom okay there's h on the last c atom there's h again there's h instead of aldehydes no aldehydes there was going to be o here in aldehydes but no these are ketones Yes, yeah, same general formula that is going to maybe frustrate you or confuse you guys. Please don't get confused, okay? You must just know that. Um, okay, let me explain further. So, in ketones, the double bond of an O atom is in between, okay? 
is in between is not on the outer lying C atoms okay is not there is in between okay yes that's how it goes on ketones as a functional group an example of a, of a compound it's propanon propanon okay propanon you can see the circular formula uh, propanol prop means three it can be butanol can be can be can be but here i can't talk about examples yes you can see that yes in propanol this this c atom that is in between is bonding with with o atom okay yes that's the difference between ketones and aldehydes okay you must know that and looking to a compound and say hey there's one o that is bonding between the c atoms Oh, which command is this? Is it aldehydes or ketones? If it's aldehydes, the O atom is bonding with the outer or the C atom that is outside. But ketones, the C atom that is inside. Okay, yes. And the ending name, it's on. Okay, not one. It's on, not one. Okay, so it's on. Um, propanon, on. Butanon. Um, ethanol, heptanol, octanon, okay, yes, octanon, heptanon, and so on, okay, yes, that's how it goes. So let's have our examples. Let's have our examples. Let's start with um, butanon. Let's start with butanon, okay, butanon. Yes, I'll just write the number for you. You know that that's a butanon. Okay, yes. Butanon. Let's go and erase there. So let's substitute and check our butanon. So we're going to have four C atoms. Substitute four there. Okay, so four C atoms. Butanon is going to have four carbon atoms. Eight hydrogen atoms. Two multiplied by four, that's eight and our O bond that is in between our C so we are for example going to have where well, I can write it um, let me write it here okay I write it here one two three four okay so our O is going to be here or our O can be here okay yes let me rub and put it in the only one so our O is going to be there okay yes C okay so sorry so we have um one two three four that's put on one this is our O is going to be there and our ages, yeah, each are our hydrogens and so on. Okay, this is butanon. Okay, that's how it goes. Let me erase the, 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 okay. So let's go check ethanol right now. Go and check ethanol. Ethanol, there will be two. So let's just you two there and two here. So ethanol, ethanol is going to have two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. That's ethanol. Okay, yes. Um, yes, that's ethanol. Okay, yes. So let's go put the rubber there and put the rubber again.
okay let's go and confirm that um we confirm our propanol our propanol let's go and confirm okay we are going to have three let's confirm our propanol going to have three here so three let's go and see if we have if we does have um, three C atoms, one, two, three. Let's go and see if we can have um, six H atoms, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see if our O is in between, is on the C atom that is in between. Yes. It is. This is the C atom, and this is our O. It's in between, not outside, just like aldehydes. Okay. Yes. That's how it goes. Okay. Now let's discuss carboxylic acid. Okay. Yes. Let's discuss of carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. It's a homologous hom series under this organic compounds okay yes second last um the general formula it's cn h2n o2 there are two o's now that are going to bond um in our in our um formula structural formula or in our compound okay there will be two oxygen atoms in our compound um functional group as you can see this is the functional group so the our o's are going to bond like this okay yes this is the very first o and the last c and other o that is bonding with h again okay yes so it's going to end like this so this is this is um the functional group okay yes you can see a compound okay oh this compound it's a it's a carboxylic acid okay yeah, i can see yeah because of this um look here okay this diagram here so it's going to look like this at the end um an example of a compound under carboxylic acid it's propanoic acid okay yes so it's propanoic acid so the structural formula example for propanoic acid is this one as you can see and as you can see that um, okay prop means three we have one two three okay yes and substitute number of h that are supposed to be there and so on okay as you can see that our last your last c as you can see also this is your last c okay let me not um, Shade, let's see so that you can also see huh, at the right. Let me not shade, let's see so that you can also see. Hey, I'm rhyming, okay? So, um, yes, so this C is the last C, mind you, okay? Yes, so let's see also in our propanoic acid, it's the last C, so this this is it okay yes and that o is also pointing with this last c with its h as i said okay yes so the name ending it's anoic acid and then you say acid okay yes propanoic acid butanoic acid heptanoic acid ethanoic acid methanoic acid propanoic acid um hexanoic acid and 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 okay yes that's how it goes um yes let's let's have some examples right now under these carboxylic acids okay now these carboxylic acids let's have some examples let's have some examples Okay, 
so let's have a butanic acid okay yes for substitute for there yes here by writing for i supposed to write butanic acid okay i'm reminding you guys so that you don't get confused maybe you, you just found the lesson halfway yes so don't get confused okay um for again c4h2 okay h2 and o2 that's our general form so let's substitute so butanic acid is going to have four carbon atoms four carbon atoms um how many eight eight atoms okay yes and two O2, yes, each and every compound is going to have this O2, this O2, this O2, the O2. The only thing that is going to change is the number of the C atoms and number of H atoms. The O2 is there, it's solid, it's rigid, it's there, it doesn't change, okay? Yes, it's only number of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms that changes. Yes, so that's how it goes for, for propanoic, uh, I mean for, for butanoic acid, yes. So it's going to have four um, carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. That's how it goes. Okay, let me rub here. Let me rub quickly do other example okay let's say ethanoic acid okay ethanoic acid ethanoic acid so let's go and substitute we have two we have two so c2h2 two okay yes so c2 so we have two so ethanoic acid is going to have c uh two carbon atoms um four eight atoms okay yes four hydrogen atoms and our two oxygen atoms are solid there okay they they don't change okay that's how it goes um that is an example of um ethanoic acid mm, yes let's swipe again and go and prove okay let's prove Let's prove um, if this ethanoic acid structural formula is correct. This propanoic acid formula is correct. Yes, this propanoic acid formula, this structural formula, if it's correct. Let's go. So we have three. Three. So let's go and look if we have three C atoms. Okay, one, two three let's go and look if if we have six h atoms one two three four five six let's go and check our stable two oxygen atoms o2 atoms are there yes so one is here two they are both there okay they are both there and they are bonded correct okay yes they are bonded correctly this atom the last C atom is bonding with this age with this o i mean and with this o again and this o is bonding with our last age that's how it goes as you can see here that's how it goes okay yes so you must know you must able to like you must familiarize yourself with functional group how it looks like and so on and mind you again guys please don't forget that the general formula you must know by your head each and every homologous series okay yes because i might maybe write down the structural formula of a compound in like in a random homework series and say what does this structural formula 
belongs to okay yes must know how to name it must know how to like to know which formula characteristic belongs to and so on and the functional group okay yes so what about esters what about esters okay what about esters okay guys we're not going to be able to to discuss esters today because it's going to be quite complicated okay for you because esters these are the products okay during the process of esterification okay so esters are the products during the process of esterification this is the process of esterification that's the preferring preparing of esters okay yes by what this is by carboxylic acids carboxylic acids reacting with with alcohols reacting with alcohols okay yes maybe let's say um methanoic acid is reacting with ethanol to give us methyl ethanoid as you can see methyl ethanoid okay yes so we're going to understand and discuss esters during when we are discussing the process or just after we have discussed the process of esterification more content is coming and so on or yeah so you must also just know that the the the, the name ending of a uh, of esters is no weight okay metal ethanol weight and so on okay yes is no weight um but yes you are obviously going to know about that yeah so that's the reason why we're not going to discuss esters today um thank you so much um with your ears thank you so much guys please don't forget to subscribe um please 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 don't forget to subscribe um see you in the next following lesson um have a great great day cheers